Welcome to News West 9's West Texas View with Johnny Lou Avery. Welcome to the West Texas View. I'm Johnny Lou Avery, and our guest today is going to be another one of our Shared Spaces uh, series of programs. I told you last week when you met Mark Palmer that we would be doing uh, about uh, two to three months of programs so that you would meet not only the administrators of the shared space concept, but also uh, the tenants that, that reside there. So before we get to know Vicki Jay, who is the administrator, the executive director of shared spaces, I want you to tell us a little bit about you and how you got here, and then we'll talk about shared spaces. Thank you, Johnny Lou. First of all, thank you for letting us Aww. share this whole concept. This Aww. program series is gonna be delightful. I'm excited about it. I can't it. wait for people to learn about it. I'm a West Texas girl. I was born and raised in Lubbock. I've been in Midland about 25 years. I'm the proud mom of two kids who are in Lubbock now. Um, my husband and I have been married for a long time, um, 30 something years that we feel like are um, just the foundation of who we are. Uh -huh. um, I've spent a lot of time in Midland in the nonprofit world, uh -huh. about 20 years working for an, a nonprofit as an executive director, Rays of Hope, and then also as a community advocate and volunteer. And through that process, I was sitting, I was part of a group of people that were sitting around the table talking about our nonprofit world. Uh -huh. How can we do better? What is it that we can do better? And that think tank actually. And, and more more efficiently and absolutely. more economically. And really it was, what can we do better together than we can do alone. So we wanted to gather together and figure that out. Well, out of that grew this whole concept of shared spaces. So I was very fortunate to be on the very beginning of the thinking part of it and then transitioned into being a founding board member and actually left my job with Rays of Hope to come and be a part of this mm -hmm. as my professional mm -hmm. job now and absolutely think this is where I should be. And the interesting thing, though, is everything you had been doing prepared you Absolutely. for this. Absolutely. And so now let's go into shared spaces and tell not only what the concept, even though you've touched on it, but, but how it actually became a reality and where it is. Okay. Because I think just the uh, stroke of, of luck or divine guidance or whatever it is, <laughs> that you are where you are is so important. Oh, it is, and it's gonna and support Mark us. And Mark talked a little bit about that. Well, shared time. spaces is exactly what the title says, shared space. We all live in one building and we share. Um, that's just a little different concept than kind of living in silos where everybody has their own building and does, does work in their own way. Uh -huh. This way, we're, we share and that means everything. So we're sharing spaces and services. We were fortunate enough that in our community, there's a great network and we found out a building was becoming available. It was the old Hillcrest School. We now own that building at 30. It's Clay Desta Plaza. It's, it's in the west side of Clay Desta uh -huh. Plaza, actually. Uh -huh. It's 3500 North A. And it's a two-story building that's connected to two others. It's been there a while, so a lot of people will recognize the building. Uh -huh. But we gutted it and started all over. Uh -huh. What is so fascinating about it is the building could not better fit our needs. We, we, I know, I've been there. <laughs> we gutted it totally. And then we asked the tenants who had shown interest in being there, um, what does this need to look like? And what you see now is a reflection uh -huh. of what they said they needed. Uh -huh. We have three kinds of tenants, Johnny Lou. One of them is um, a group of people or nonprofits that lived in a place that wasn't, um, they weren't being charged for it. We have a very generous uh -huh. community, but perhaps it wasn't really suited to meet uh -huh. their needs. Yeah. Another group of um, our nonprofits were in places that the rent was going up because as you know, right uh -huh. now in Midland, Texas and uh -huh. the, the Permian Basin, rent is at a premium. Uh -huh. So they were getting um, pushed to pay more rent uh -huh. and, and that really, afford it. <laughs> well that just means they take away from their that's services, right. you know, and that's not where money uh -huh. needs to go in, uh -huh. in the helping organizations. And then the third kind are people that really were maybe startup organizations or they had never had a building. We have the um, Midland Opera Theater. They've been around for 35 years, but they've never had a building. Uh -huh. So now they have a face, they have a phone, they have a computer, uh -huh. and they also have a network of other 
others mm -hmm. that they can work together. So that's kind of what brought this and building to be. And people can find them. That's right. <laughs> and then every single space is built to the needs of that tenant. Mm -hmm. So Midland Opera Theater has a little one room office. We have Mission Adult Daycare Center that has this huge area mm -hmm. that provides daycare mm -hmm all day long, 7.30 to 5.30, for older citizens or people who can't stay alone by themselves. Mm -hmm. So their space is very much conducive to their mission, to fit and their the, mission. And the ones that need it are right there by a professional That's kitchen, right. uh, That's a commercial right. kitchen. Then you've got the wonderful meeting rooms that they make appointments to right. you so that, that everybody doesn't have to have space uh, and pay for space. That's right. But this all couldn't have happened if you had not had, I mean, the wonderful ideas that are floating around out there have to have funding That's and and some concrete direction. You have to have champions. Uh -huh. Somebody has to grab a hold of it and it's make it happen. a great way to say that. And, and we had champions. We had financial champions. We had organizational champions. Um, really what's neat about shared spaces is it grew out of kind of across all the sectors because the business community and individuals were able to support us. The funders and foundations and philanthropy side you know, very supportive of us. The clients and the people we serve are the ones who are going to benefit from this. Uh -huh. And then, of course, the nonprofit and the leadership of nonprofits came together to create this wonderful space. Uh -huh. The only reason we have meeting rooms and stuff is because currently um, we're being charged anywhere from two to five hundred dollars to use some of the hotel rooms I and know. venues because we're just so busy in the Permian Basin uh -huh. and by having this one room that has meets all your needs it's uh -huh. right there where you are uh -huh. you can carry your stuff in and out uh -huh. um, not only are we making sure there's no idle space but we're coming together in one space to do similar work uh -huh. Um, one of the things and we, training rooms are the same way and right. conference, little small conference right. rooms. Our mission has three parts, Johnny Lou. One was to um, enhance efficiencies. So that means, you know, not duplicating services, mm -hmm. to make it easier, to give quality products. We've done that in many ways in our, our building. We've enhanced the ability to work by having a workroom that has all the latest tools in there. But it's divided, the cost of that is divided by 14. So it's not supported by one. Not uh -huh. everybody had uh -huh. to have a copier or, or a this uh -huh. or a and that. And you don't have to have uh, uh, 20 uh, copiers because that's you've right. got 20 agencies. So you've what got it, one really nice right. copier. So what it really means is they're putting less money as a nonprofit into survival and more into direct services. Services to the, and, and that's a great way to stop this segment because we're going to come back now and talk about how you filled it up and, okay. and all the other things. But isn't this interesting? And, and I just encourage everybody to go out and just walk around, even if you, you don't have any uh, services out there that you need, just as a citizen, you need to know how proud you should be of this uh, very unique concept. We'll see you in just a minute. Stay tuned. West Texas View will be right back. 